Well, I have uh, bad news and I have good news. Can y'all hear me okay? Is that a little better? So the, so the bad news is that they asked me to come up and talk about uh, grants and contracts procedures at this late hour of the day. <laughs> but the good news is they told me to do it in five minutes. I would like you to know, though, uh, as someone who many, 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 many years ago had the opportunity to work for Bill Holda at Kilgore College, I'm grateful to the faculty and staff there at that university for sending me on my path to my own higher education success, ultimately uh, getting my AS degree from Navarra College uh, en route to earning my bachelor's and my master's degrees from Texas A&M University. So I am a product of the work that you do. I just want you to know that. Um, my name is Susan Kareen. I am the uh, Deputy Assistant Commissioner for Business and Support Services here at the Coordinating Board. In short, I run the business operations of the agency, including the oversight of our uh, contracts and grants uh, functions in conjunction with our Office of General Counsel. So what would I want you to know in five minutes of uh, uh, contracts and grants? I'm not gonna go through each of these, but um, it's just important to note that obviously we adhere to the state and federal uh, laws surrounding all of our contracts and grants. Our monies are appropriated. Uh, I did uh, work for institution of higher ed prior to coming here. I do miss my local funds, but all of our funds are in the state treasury here, so I have to also adhere to the uh, Comptroller's uh, guidelines, uh, our accounting policy statements as well. Um, so that dictates predominantly our uh, adherence to the contracts and grants that we issue now to the funds that go out to your institutions. We also uh, adhere to our own rule, which is codified in the Texas Administrative Code, as well as listening to our authorita authoritative bodies here at the Coordinating Board, which is our Office of General Counsel. So that slide's available just for reference sake only. I'm not gonna go through that and bore you to death with all of that, but I will take you to the next slide, which is probably the most important, and that's contact information. I would say if ever you have uh, contracting uh, questions specific to uh, you know, the actual language in a contract or something like that. General counsel is always available to help answer those questions. Uh, I'm certainly available as well as my staff to assist with answering those questions. Uh, certainly the accounting of those dollars. Uh, I know y'all hear from us many times when we're doing our uh, do to do froms and our financial reporting at the end of the year and some of that on what should I book this as or that. So I'm certainly a great point of contact for that type of information. But most importantly, your program staff uh, area, they know the program dollars that they're sending to you. Um, they're your best resource for ensuring that you're complying with a statement of work according to those contracts and those grants and so forth, uh, as well as a wealth of knowledge. Again, I thank you for allowing me to be part of uh, uh, the conference these uh, next two days. Uh, thank you.